is Jazzy, Jazzy the Kid. Hey, what's up, Taste Buds? I'm back with another video. Period, poo, ay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so today we're gonna switch it up. I just got out the shower, so I'm spraying my perfume. Um, this from all, it's called All the Stars from Bath and Body, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it is what's up. Um, to fix the camera a little bit. Okay, so we are going to get into the makeup today, you guys. This is a trial and error makeup um, um, day, so I really don't know what my makeup is going to look like, but we're going to get into it. I'm going to put on some moisturizer. It is some Mary Kay moisturizer that I sell. It is age fighting moisturizer. Uh, sorry, moisturizer. It's a normal to dry. Um, I put it on every day after I get out of the shower and wash my face with some Dr. Um, Bronner's um, the soap, and I make sure I moisturize my face really, really well with that. Um, it is the Dr. Bronner's soap 18 and one. You guys should really check that out. Make sure you mix it with water because you have to dilute it. It's really strong. But that's what I do. I put the moisturizer on my face. Um, and yes, and then that's what I put, usually put that on before I put my makeup on. So that's what I'm doing. And then uh, this is in trial and error makeup. So let's get into it. Um, I have some MAC NC45 is my tone. Um, I just ordered some more. I've actually had this MAC foundation for like four or five years. That's crazy. And then I have some 12, um, 12 NACAC New York makeup from the beauty store. And then I also have some Perfect Nine NACAC um, um, uh, eyeshadow from the beauty supply store. I'm gonna use that. And then, sorry, I have to pick some up the flow. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now I have my little squeegee blemish. I love that thing, you guys. I never have to use the brush again because I have those and I just soak it with water and squeeze it all out. And have it a little damp when I put my foundation on. I have all these brushes that I'm using to apply my colors. I have two MAC brushes that I'm about to show y'all. There y'all go. Um, I have two Mary Kay brushes. I do sell Mary Kay. So if you guys are interested in these products at all, make sure you guys let me know. Mary Kay brushes. Um, and then I have a Morphe brush um, that came out of a package that I have not opened. So I'm using one of these for the eyeshadow applying. It's a Morphe brush. And then I'm using the eyebrow pencil to brush these brows into place. I'm not really going to mess with my eyebrows today, but it's an e.l.f. eyebrow brush. So I'm going to use that. <laughs> and then I have some Lancome um, like liquid gel eyeliner that I'm going to use today. Haven't used it in a little while. It's very been a very long while, but I'm going to use it and see what's up with that. And then I have some Mary Kay Mineral Powder, which I end up not even using, but just in case my face is a little too wet, I use that bronze one. I am a Mary Kay consultant, so let me know if you want it. I want to keep saying that throughout the video, y'all. Um, and then I'm going to use my favoritest, favoritest, favoritest um, concealer from Mary Kay as well. It is uh, just perfect concealer. It's perfecting concealer, and it's definitely just that. I love that thing, you guys. Um, so get at me, y'all, if y'all want some. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I am about to take my first color and make that a base from one of the NACAC eyeshadows that I showed you guys. Um, I'm going to take that light pink and put that as my base. I'm going to see how that goes for me. And I'm going to apply that to each eye. Brush it over each eye. Make sure I get it good over the eye as my base. I mean, once I applied it, I realized that it was a little too light for me. So I didn't really know how this was going to turn out. So um, I was a little afraid of the look. Um, so, but I just did it anyway. Because once, I, like I said, this is a trial and error makeup application. And I really didn't know how this was going to go. But you guys need to turn out afterwards. I want to take that dark pink and apply it over my eyes as well to darken it up a little bit as a base so I pretty much just mixed those two and made that my base
So now I'm about to take one of the brushes that I have, uh, one of the Mary Kay brushes that goes in the crease of my eye to give it a darker color. I'm about to show y'all the color that I chose. That one right there, just to see how that would turn out to give it a darker color in my creases and on the end of my eye to give it a dark base back there. It didn't give me the exact color that I wanted, but I still just played around with it. It's trial and error. Once again, y'all, you gotta play around with stuff in order to see how you really like it. Um, obviously, I have no one to do my makeup now, so I'm just trying it out for myself. I usually always do it this way. I do it for my birthdays and everything. So I'm taking my, um, my blending brush and blending that color in as the base on the back of my eye, and it actually turned out pretty cute. And then I'm taking the concealer, um, putting it over my eyelid because I just, this is a new found in thing to put the, uh, the concealer over your eyelid and then apply the makeup. I just found that out, found that out, can't stop doing it now. So I'm going to try this out and see. I'm taking one of the, the, taking that Morphe brush and applying that pink color that matches my shirt on the concealer. This is a real trial and error, y'all, because I'm patting my eye, and then y'all gonna see me look a little disgusted. Just watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it was, like, real sticky on the brush. I should have let the concealer sit more. And that was actually the wrong brush to use for that, because it just was like, ew. So I'm going to eventually switch to my regular MAC eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to try it on the second eye. And I hope that I'm doing this right. I really want you guys to rank this and tell me what you think. You makeup artists out there, people that actually know how to do this stuff. <laughs> like for real, for real. And so I'm letting that eye dry a little bit and I'm gonna take the MAC brush and I'm going to pat it onto the eye. And of course, it gives it a better look. I start to feel myself as the time goes on, y'all. Just watch me transition. <laughs> So I'm blending, using that blending brush to blend in those colors around that part that I concealed um, just to have a better looking base. And I'm just going to apply more of that color onto the, uh, the concealer. And then I'm going to start with the other eye. I'm going to use that same brush that I used in the first place because I want to do the same thing that I did on the other eye to my second eye, even if I didn't like it. But it did apply better once I let the concealer dry just for a few seconds. Boom, 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 boom. I told y'all I was going to transition. So I'm going to continue to apply that color until it looks exactly the same as the other eye. So at this point, I really didn't know what it was going to turn out to look like. So I just was like, what the heck? This is how it looks. And y'all just going to be on this journey with me. And let's just see how this turns out together. So that's just where I was at at this point. So now I'm going to take that um, Lancome. Well, it is a lot of eyeshadow on my face. So I'm trying to find a way to wipe that off. But I'm going to take the concealer, uh, the Mary Kay concealer, I'm sorry. And put it under my eyebrows and under my eye usually to clean up that makeup and to give it a prettier look and cleaner look um, that's what I do when I usually do my eyebrows but I haven't touched my eyebrows in a while because I usually like the natural look um, I don't want to do too much on my face I keep it pretty simple when I do my makeup so I'm blending that up with my damp sponge and it looks a lot better without the sprinkles everywhere and glitter from the eyeshadow so once that is done, I'm going to take my eyebrow brush and brush my eyebrows back into place. Like I said, I'm not going to really touch my eyebrows. I just like to brush them and leave them alone. I love my natural eyebrow look. So we're going to get into the next thing. And I'm going to take that Lancome eyeliner that I have and apply it to um, under my eye and on top of my eyelid. This is very wet, so my eyes got the itching. <sighs> you guys know how I go. <laughs> so... I apply it right in there in that lid at the bottom and then I apply it to the top. So that's exactly what I'm about to do now as I blow it, let it dry a little bit, I'm going to go to the next part of the eyes. Now 
This is when I start to really start feeling myself, you guys. I love the way eyeliner makes your eyes pop. No matter what you do to it, eyeliner really makes your eyes pop. After you apply it, you really start to see things start to come, to come together. I usually don't use the liquid eye gel because it like, really, really, I could really mess it up. But I was doing good this time, so I was proud of myself. So, once I apply that, I forgot to show you guys the best part of this. Better than sex mascara. Woo! It's bomb. Don't y'all see that? It's bomb. Um, y'all about to see for real. I got it from Sephora. You can get it from any Sephora store, maybe Ulta. It's better than sex. I forgot the actual brand. I think it's just better than sex, but I got it from Sephora. Fell in love with it. I usually use Mary Kay product mascaras. I love those too, but this better than sex really does turn your eyelashes into like actual lashes, like real lashes, fake lashes, or whatever you call it. Girl, let me tell you. Y'all about to see. And see, usually I always mess up and get mascara all on top of my eyes. I hate that. If you guys can see that, I usually just be like, whatever. But it's coming together, y'all. And I'm starting to feel myself. These lashes, look at them, y'all. Dude. This mascara turned your eyes into your lashes into, I don't know. It's just beautiful. But we're going to get ready to put the foundation on, guys. I'm pretty much finished here. I told you, pretty simple. My kid's crying. My son is doing what I told you guys, you're gonna hear my kids in my video, or they're gonna be in the video. Too bad you can't hear them this time because <laughs> I'm in the video. But I'm taking my foundation and blending it in with my damp blender brush. I love that thing. Oh my gosh, y'all. And when you wet it, it's some it gives it a different feel than how it would if it was dry. So I'm taking that, pulling my hair back, and getting it really good into my face. And it feels really good because I moisturized my face well and the, the sponge is damp. It just feels really clean and clean. So I'm just blending it in really good all over my face. And of course the water is squeezed all the way out. But when you use the water on there, it really gives it a different look. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Period. I'm going to continue to finish doing that. I'm pretty much done with that foundation. I do not need it anymore. Um, I usually only use a little bit. You guys seen the little amount that I use. So now it's time to find a lipstick to match. And I think I, I knew exactly what I was going to. I was going to a paparazzi pink. Um, I believe Matt came out with this. I don't know if this is a paparazzi pink, actually. It's just a really nice pink. I will actually get the name of it for you guys. The name of it is called Flat Out Fabulous by Mac. It's a matte look, a finished look. But yes, you guys are seeing me clean off my lip. That's because I hate the top part of my lip. It's like my father's. They, he cursed me with that. But this is the look, y'all. The finished look. Oh my gosh. But let me finish my hair first so y'all can see what it looks like. Okay? Wait a minute. Also, guys, this is some Mary Kay brush cleaning stuff. This is what I'm going to use to clean my brushes. And I'm going to wipe it off on some tissue. So if you guys want this too, I do have this as well in Mary Kay products. So yeah. But here we go. Boom, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. This is the finished look, guys. I really did not expect this to come out this way. But it is really pretty. It's very simple. You don't really see the difference in the colors. But it still makes the... Uh, eye pop all around y'all but here it is beautiful thank you lord for this <laughs> you guys i thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe give me your feedback and rate my look i love you guys um and if i did anything uh i don't know like that you guys may not may i may have missed something or whatever it was whatever it is you guys give that feedback in the comments um if you want to see more of these make sure you let me know um and once again like i said you guys um i want to finish cleaning my brushes off and this was a trial and error and it 
definitely was a success. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Is Jazzy. Jazzy the kid. They call me one take jazz now. Oh, yeah. Uh. It's Jazzy the Kid, and I'm back on the one and twos. Milwaukee would have do this beat, about to do the food. On this beat, I'm about to spit, y'all ain't have a clue. Everybody asking where I'm at, this here was the you. you. I've been running up a check, doing a thing or two. Got a man, got married with some babies too. Been holding back for a minute though. Hold up, let me switch it up. Switch it up. Uh, double it up because I'm kicking it with the triggity wiggity tracks. It could have been a zippity zippity, but the deputy couldn't get with me. Singing them up and bringing them up just like a bumblebee. I'm dogging to get even, but stay humble, you see I'm busting A's and B's and C's. Like that.